favors hath been poured out upon men, the day in which his most mighty grace hath been infused into all created things. It is incumbent upon all the peoples of the world to reconcile their differences and with perfect unity and peace abide beneath the shadow of the tree of his care and loving kindness. All hail then to this, the festival of the Lord, that hath appeared above a day spring of resplendent holiness, Baha'u'llah. Mounted on his steed, a red roan stallion of the finest breed, the best his lovers could purchase for him, and leaving behind a bowing multitude of fervent admirers, he rode forth on the first stage of a journey that was to carry him to the city of Constantinople. Numerous were the heads, <coughs> heads, Nabil himself a witness that memorable scene, recounts which on every side bowed to the dust at the feet of his horse and kissed its hooves, and countless were those who would press forward to embrace his stirrups. How great the numbers of those embodiments of fidelity testifies a fellow traveler who, casting themselves before that charger, preferred death to, them, to separation from their beloved. Methinks that blessed deed trod upon the bodies of those pure-hearted souls. He, God, it was Baha'u'llah himself, declares who enabled me to depart out of the city clothed with such majesty as none except the denier and the malicious can fail to acknowledge. These marks of homage and devotion continued to surround him until he was installed in Constantinople. O oh my God, the God of bounty and mercy, thou art that King by whose commanding word the whole creation hath been called into being, and thou art that all-bountiful one, the doings of whose servants have never hindered him from showing forth his grace, nor have they frustrated the revelations of his bounty. Suffer the servant, I beseech thee, to attain unto that which is the cause of his salvation in every world of thy worlds. Thou verily the Almighty, the Most Powerful, the All-Knowing, the All-Wise. And when the appointed time of tarrying was fulfilled and the decree of departure was received, the beauty of the All-Merciful arose and went out from the Rizvan Garden riding upon the finest stallion. Blessed then be the All-Glorious, who appeared in the world of creation with a sovereignty that transcendeth the heavens and the earth. As he departed, a cry of sorrow ascended from the garden, and its trees and leaves and fruits and walls and air and ground and pavilion while the dwellers of the deserts and the wilderness 
and even the very dunes and the dust of the earth rejoiced at his approach. Those who Baha'u'llah had indicated were to remain behind stood in a row. They were so entirely overcome with sorrow that they all burst into tears. Baha'u'llah drew back up to them and consoled them. He assured them that it was better for the cause that they should stay behind. He said that there were some with a tendency for causing mischief, and he was therefore taking them with him. One of the friends was utterly beyond all control of anguish and sorrow, and addressed the crowd with a poem declaring, Let us all rise to weep like the clouds of spring. When lovers become separated from their beloved, you hear even the wailings of the stones. Baha'u'llah was so moved by this, remarking how the poem was just for such a day. Those fortunate enough to depart with Baha'u'llah were sobbing and crying with them, their tears pouring out of their eyes. The clergy, jurists, rulers, and commoners were all crying and weeping with them. ข้าแต่พระผู้เป็นเจ้าโปรดทําให้จิตใจของข้าพเจ้าสดชื่นและเบิกบานโปรดชําระหัวใจของข้าพเจ้าให้บริสุทธิ์โปรดประเทืองพ
Verily thou art the protector, the preserver, the sufficer, and verily thou art the merciful of the most merciful. Abdu Baha. O my God, O oh my God, einige die Herzen deiner Diener und enthülle ihnen deinen großen Plan. Gib, dass sie deinem Geboten folgen und deinen Gesetzen die Treue halten. Hilf ihnen, O oh Gott, in ihrer Bemühung und verleihe ihnen die Kraft, dir zu dienen. O oh Gott, überlasse sie nicht sich selber, sondern lenke ihre Schritte durch das Licht deiner Erkenntnis und beglücke ihre Herzen durch deine Liebe. Wahrlich, du bist ihr Helfer und ihr Herr. Bahá'u'lláh. There comes a time We heed a certain call when the world must come together as one. There are people dying. Oh, it's time to lend a hand to life, the greatest gift of all. We can't go on pretending day by day. That someone, somewhere, will soon make a change We are all a part of God's great big family And the truth, you know, love is all we need We are the world We are the children We are the ones who make a better day So let's start giving There's a choice we're making We're saving our own lives It's true we make a better day Just you and me Hovalla <laughs> Hodavanda این طفل صغیر را در آغوش محبتت پرورش فرما و صدی نایت شیرده این نهال تازه را در گلشن محبتت بنشان و به رشهات صحاب نایت پرورش ده از اطفال ملکوت کن و به جهان لاهوت هدایت فرما توی مقتدر و مهربان و توی دهنده و بخشنده و سابق الانام این این O oh, thou kind Lord, thou hast created all humanity from the same stock. Thou hast decreed that all shall belong to the same household. In thy holy presence they are all thy servants and all mankind are sheltered beneath thy tabernacle. All have gathered together at thy table of bounty. All are eliminated through the light of thy providence. O oh, God, thou art kind to all. Thou hast provided for all, does shelter all, confers life upon, upon all. Thou has endowed each and all with talents and faculties, and all are submerged in the ocean of thy mercy. O thou kind Lord, unite all, let the religions agree and make the nations one, so that they may see each other is one family and the whole earth is one home. May they all live together in perfect harmony. O God, Rise aloft the banner of the oneness of mankind. O oh God, establish the most great peace. 
Cement thou, O God, the hearts together. O thou kind Father, God, gladden our hearts through the fragrance of thy love. Brighten our eyes through the light of thy guidance. Delight our ears with the melody of thy word and shelter us all in the stronghold of thy province. Thou art the mighty and powerful. Thou art the forgiving and thou art the one who overlooketh the shortcomings of all mankind. Abdu Baha'i. O God, my God, I have set my face towards thee and supplicate the outpourings of the ocean of thy healing. Graciously assist me, O Lord, to serve thy people and to heal thy servants. Uh, every culture has their own way of uh, worshiping our one creator. And, uh, we, you know, in, in, in my particular case, I, I learned about our creator at a very young age from my elders. And from there, it branched off to, uh, to uh, I was exploring other ways of worshiping our Creator. I tried uh, uh, the Bible, from one Bible, stems over 5,000 denominations and sects. So, S-C, uh, 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 how was it S-E-C-T-S. S-E-C-T-S, okay. And anyways, uh, I followed the elders and I listen to their words of wisdom, and I've retained what I've collected. Then when I came into the Baha'i faith, then the wisdom just flourished. Then I began to understand in depth, in depth what they were trying to tell me. And they prophesied that there would be two religions coming on our part of Mother Earth. First one was a cross, because the cross represents east, south, west, north. And, and the center was a halo, and the elders thought that, uh, oh, look at the, look at the center. The, the center is Mother Earth and the four sacred direction. Then we knew that the first religion came down from, from the east. And, and then they said that the second religion, they will, they will come and help us to teach the people of Mother Earth that we're all the one, one, you know, one, one creation that, that came from our Creator. And that uh, we're all brothers and sisters, and these and, and the second and the second messenger will, will will help us. They look like First Nation, but they're not First Nation. They look like they're white, but they're not white. It turns out to be Persian, the, the Persian nation. And anyways, uh, uh, I've 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 studied the, the Baha'i faith, and, <coughs> and and I began to realize, yes, this is what we have been waiting for. Now it has arrived, and that symbolizes the fullness of time. And the first, uh, and, the, and our medicine people said, our spirit will start to be reawakened after the eagle has landed on the moon. In 1969, four words came back from, 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 from the moon. The eagle has landed. So now, it's First Nations time to be heard and understood.